Hello, everyone, and welcome to Awaken to Happiness Now. I'm your host, Shafali Burns. Thank you so much for being with us today. I'm really excited about today's show. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, the energy is already flowing and flying. So today on the show, we have a brand new speaker that we haven't had before, so that's always so exciting for me. It's Marcella Martin, and um, for those of you who don't know, let me tell you a little bit about Marcella, and then we're going to get right into it because, you know, how it is. I want to, you know, try and get as many of the channeled readings as we can. So Marcella has spent the last 25 years sharing the gifts bestowed upon her as a natural healer, medium, energy worker, Reiki master, and Reiki teacher who is sought out by those in need of deep healing from dark situations from the past. She lives to share the message of, the message of spirit through automatic writing and the spiritual teaching that you are loved unconditionally and to help you tap into your unique spiritual birthright. She remained out of the public eye until 2011 when she channeled spiritual guidance into the published works New Ages and Other Wonders and I Am Here channeled wisdom for changing times which was recently awarded an honorable mention at the Los Angeles Book Festival for 2012-2013. Now she shares what she's learned about spirituality, ascension and the unity between all souls with everyone open to hearing spirit's message in our new world. So uh, welcome to the show Marcella. Thank you. I'm with you. I'm so excited to be here. We are going to have such great fun. Oh, me too. I'm so excited because, um, you know, some of the stuff that you do, the channeled readings, are so profound. Um, I actually asked Marcella if she could do one for me because I wanted to experience it. I was like, what is all this about? What does she do? You know, what is it like? So um, she was kind enough to do a reading for me last week, and it was wonderful. It was, it was beautiful, and um, I was so impressed. Like, okay, let's... So I was getting all excited for today's show. So, um, Marcella, before we begin, can you just tell us a little bit about your history and your story about how you came to do channeled readings um, and, you know, such really, I was going to say, effective and really uh, touching um, channeled readings. How did you come to do that? Well, you know, I was kind of born with funny gifts. Mm. I was one of those people who could see and hear things that no one else could, <clears throat> which really wasn't a great thing because I had a pretty traumatic childhood. But I survived all that, as we all do, you know, with gifts intact. And in about the middle of my 20s, I experienced a near-death experience. And any of you listening who have done that know that that profoundly changes who you are. When you come back from home again, by choice, you're entirely different. And it opened up so many more of my gifts, healing gifts and communication gifts. And so for many years, I just gathered the information that Spirit was spending, sending to me, thinking the whole time, why on earth are you telling me this? But there was a, there was a purpose. There is always a purpose. At one point, Spirit contacted me again and said, now it's time. People need to hear these words. We've given them to you. You've faithfully kept them. Let's get them out there and let people hear them. Wonderful. Yeah, and we're so happy that you are starting to share your messages and sharing your gifts with the world because, you know, there are, we need it so much, right? There are so many people who need your assistance, need your help, need your guidance. Um, so it's, it's very, very welcome right now. Well, thank you, and this is such a wonderful venue for that. I thank you so much for inviting me because I can reach people that I really couldn't reach any other way. We can all become one unit on this call and, and on this webcast, and I can speak to you with messages that I would not be able to get to you otherwise. Spirit knows you're all going to be here. My house has been like LAX the last <laughs> few days. They are buzzing around and wanting to tell everyone everything that they can. They want you to know that they love you. They want you to know that you're here. And, and we'll discover that because we have some beautiful messages. Now please know that even though some of these messages were received for an individual, we had some great volunteers. We had many great volunteers. And I wanted to read for all of them but didn't have time. But Spirit knew who would be here. And they had very carefully chosen the words and the messages that they're going to send so that it will touch as many of you as possible. And I want you to know that I intentionally work through automatic writing so that I don't disturb a single word that Spirit speaks. And you'll see why. 
their messages are profound and the words are beautiful and I would not dream of changing a single one of them for you. Mm. Wonderful. Yeah, and you know, um, yeah, because my the, the the reading that you did for me was beautiful. It was so nice. I totally resonated with it, and it was a um, a new guide that I didn't know before. I didn't know of, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's like it doesn't mean that she wasn't always there, right? But I didn't know of her, you know, her, her name or um, things like that. So it was it was good because now I can connect with her more consciously, you know, and uh, really accept her into my energy field more consciously instead of just you know, energy there, right? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. We all have so much spirit guidance. We all have all kinds of angels and guides and teachers and protectors. And in each moment, the right guide will step forth to tell us what they'd like to know. Mm -hmm. I mean, absolutely. You know, like the my listeners have heard me say many times on these calls that I have a huge council, and I know I have a huge council, <laughs> and um, I'm very blessed in that way that, you know, I have a lot of um, guides who are with me and ascended masters and archangels and so on and so forth. And, um, but, you know, I'm one of those who, I know they're there, but I don't really call on them. <laughs> it's like, you know, they must be busy. <laughs> You're like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you have access to all that. We all do that. We have access to that divine guidance, and instead, sometimes we just keep slogging through the world. Mm -hmm. But there's a purpose to that, too. There's a, the purpose of that is finding a balance between the two. That's my big issue and my big conflict, is balancing my spiritual work with my regular life. Mm -hmm. Because we all came here to do the regular things, too, or we could have just stayed at home. Mm -hmm. It's always just an issue of balancing. Yes, absolutely. And that's, that's one of my um, key phrases that I hear all the time from my guides balance, 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 like okay, okay, so <laughs> I totally resonate with that. Um, okay, so, so Marcella, how do you, like, do you want to just start with um, the channeled readings or do you want to talk a, a little bit more about love and things like that? Let's start talking about love, yes. if we could, mm -hmm. because in preparation for this show, um, the Archangel Michael came and visited me, which is always a grand experience. Mm -hmm. And he has sent a channel, especially for us today, talking about love. And I think that would be a wonderful place to start. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Like okay, that. well, I'm going to give you a very, very, very brief introduction here. The only thing that I'm going to tell you is that all of my channels, since the day I began, begin with three words. They're significant to me. They always say, I am here. Mm. They open with that line always as a clue to me that I have contacted a light being and they are acknowledging their I am presence. Mm. So, Michael says to us, I am here. Please let us pray for love. Love is the all. Love is the beginning and the end of all things that exist. Love is the essence of all that lives. Love is eternally self-sustaining and self-perpetuating. Love is not an emotion, but is alive, conscious of its divine source and its divine purpose. People often believe that they are in love, but I will tell you that this is not the whole truth where love is concerned. In any experience with love, one is not in love, but rather is with love, joined with its life force, not merely surrounded by love, but infiltrated completely by divinity, expressing itself as love. Let us consider, then, this concept in a different context, for this example may bring clarity by comparison. Divinity expressed as light is only a different manifestation of the life force of love in the form of light within a physical dimension. For our purposes, one can seem to be near light or to be in the light, seeing light in a physical form or feeling the warmth that the vibration of light produces. It is not physically possible to be with the light in a physical dimension and to also hold physical form 
without the light affecting changes to the physical structure. Pure light is far too intense to operate within physical dimensions. This is evidenced by the power of concentrated light forms such as laser beams. Light in its pure form would return all matter to its original energetic form. And therefore, light manifests in a much less intense form in the physical dimensions. It is for this reason that, in that world, nothing can be with light. In that dimension, one can only be near the light or in the light. For these reasons, light casts a shadow in a physical dimension. There is another discussion to be had at another time about the relevance of shadow as a function of light. For this day, however, let us be reminded that, unlike light, love casts no shadow in that world. Mm. Any perception or belief that love is less than a unified expression of divinity is illusion only. Physical dimensions, such as that one, and there are many, many more, allow for illusions about many things and hold little of the universal truth of all that exists. All forces and forms within physical dimensions contain only enough of the truth of the divine to serve as a reminder for the spirit of the great oneness of the soul. All that appears to be less than pure divine love, all that appears to be in opposition to love, all that appears to be without love is a matter of limited perception only, existing in this manner only to remind the seeker to search for true love. True love, pure divine love, takes one form only and is not altered by perceptions, nor is it limited by the illusions of physical dimensions. Love is always whole and indivisible from its divinity, always and forever. Without pure, true, divine love, nothing could exist. Therefore, all that exists stands as evidence of divine love. This is important to remember, and I am pleased to be able to speak of it this day. Until we speak again, I am your friend, Michael the Archangel. Be at peace always and know that love is with you in each moment. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, absolutely. Yeah, that is lovely. Wow. Great message. You know, As usual, there is a lot of information in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. And, you know, it's we, we forget, you know, that we are so loved all the time in every moment and that love is with us all the time. We forget that, you know, we get caught up in our day to day life and our aches and pains and, and our emotional stuff, you know, <laughs> baggage and we forget about that love. And that is, we are that divine love, you know, and um, once we can connect to that more and more for longer and longer, we'll, we'll really be able to really shift our lives, I think. It will, it will not only shift our lives, it will finish shifting the entire world. Mm. It's so important that we yes. remember that love is everywhere and in everything. And by acknowledging the love and the divinity in everything, that is life-changing and world-changing. Absolutely. Wow. That was a powerful message. Oh, I'm still feeling it. You know, I'm, 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 I'm still feeling the message, you know. Yeah, that was lovely. <laughs> Why can't we hear these well, messages you, every day? Sure. Right, Marcella, why can't we hear this every day? Yeah. Well, we should hear these messages <laughs> every day. We should remember this every day. I should remember them. They tell me this all the time. And when it goes back through and I go, oh, oh, I forgot about it. Not to remember the basics. I forgot mm -hmm. to go outside and to feel the life in the air and the life in the light. I forgot to do that. What's the matter with me, I say. And they say, nothing's the matter with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. There's actually nothing the matter with us at all. We've just forgotten. No, there's nothing the matter with us at all. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hear you. Um, yeah, that was lovely. That was beautiful. And and these are the kinds of messages, uh, uplifting messages that you get, right? That when you're channeling messages, they're I'm assuming almost always going to be uplifting and loving and compassionate. Always, always. You know, there are those who do some of this work and deal with the with the darker energies, but I am not that girl. Mm-hmm. I am a child of the light, and I deal only with light beings. And it is the messages of light and love that it is my purpose to share. Yeah. It's who I am, it's what I do. I'm so glad everyone's here to listen, because there'll be a sentence or a remembrance that each of you need to hear. Thank you for showing up, everyone. <laughs> Absolutely, and that's the thing, I, guys. I want you guys to listen to all the messages because there's going to be something in these messages that is going to resonate with you, you know. And and just bring that into your heart, bring that into your being, and really accept it, you know. Okay, Marcella, how are we doing? We're doing great. Okay. We're doing great. I was taking a couple of breaths. The energy's running really strong here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can, we, can we find a caller? I yeah. have messages for people, and now I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to first go to um, Washington, Virginia. Ginger, if you're there, Ginger703. I mean, I see you, so I know you're there. <laughs> Let me unmute you. Hold on. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Marcella. Hello. Hi, Marcella. Hi, Shafali. Hi. Thank you so much for taking my call. I'm very excited. Well, thank you. Thank for you, the thank message. You. I am. I am sorry. I am shuffling papers. Is this Virginia? Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh I, yes. I have a message for you. <laughs> thank you. Your message, my dear, says. I am here. I have come this day to meet with my dear Virginia. She has asked for words from her guidance, and I am glad beyond measure to have been chosen to speak. I am called Artemis, and like my namesake, I am a protective spirit. I come today not to warn of danger, but only to affirm that my dear one is loved and protected by spirit. It is my wish that she remember these words as she passes through each day of her life. I want her to have no doubt or concern that she walks even a single step unprotected or unloved. My beloved Virginia is a dedicated student of life. All who stand in service are honored to be able to share in the experiences that instruct and inform her. In this way, She is as much a gifted teacher as she is a gifted student. So much of the structure and function of that world differs from the structure and function of the heavens, and this presents to my dear friend an endless source of fascination, as well as an endless source of learning. Through many lifetimes, she has immersed herself in the ways of the world and has changed and adapted its structure to serve changing purposes. Because she visits with intention in times of great change, it is no coincidence that she finds herself again upon the earth in these days. The challenges presented in that world are often daunting in times of stability, and our dear girl repeatedly chooses times of the greatest challenge. She is highly esteemed for her courageous choices. She is also strongly supported by protective spirits on her journeys to assure that these brave choices bring no harm to her precious soul. Above all else, this is the message that I come this day to share, that she is and will remain safe in our care. I hope that this assurance bolsters her sense of freedom to explore her studies without care of harm befalling her spirit, allowing her to once again fully engage in her lifetime in search of the knowledge that her soul treasures. Signed, Artemis the Protector. And I will tell you, Virginia, I could feel him and see him. He was standing in a 
with his legs spread and his arms crossed and in uniformed in bright colors. Very proud to be taking care of you, my dear. I'm almost speechless. <laughs> Thank you for the message. And it is um, just what I needed to hear. I'm sure you already knew that. Um, and um, I have seen him as well, although um, had not yet found the name Artemis. But I've seen him standing there before me, like the warrior with his you know, legs planted apart and arms crossed and wings spread. Wonderful. He's a very, very strong presence. And he's taking such good care of you so that you are free to do what it is that you need to do, my dear. And thank you so much. This is a great opportunity for me, if you don't mind, Bali. Mm -hmm. to thank these volunteers because they're sharing their guidance, which is normally a very personal thing with others because I will tell you that Spirit knows that we're all going to be together and Spirit knows that they will not only be delivering a message about your soul, Virginia, but they will be delivering a message that so many others need to hear. And it is gracious of those of you who volunteered to share this special information with others. I thank you very much. Oh, it's my privilege and um, honor, and I thank you for taking the time to to channel my spirit or bring me my message that was so needed at this time. Perfect. I, can I, do I ask, what I do? It, yeah. Can I yeah. ask you a question? Do you also... Um, channel, say, you know, spirits of loss of loved ones that have crossed over? You know, I can't. I think that one of the best parts of my gift is that I really have access, you know, through my own guides and, and through my protection to so many different spiritual entities <clears throat> so that I can reach your guide with really very little information about you. All I knew about any of you was when you came in and, and what you call yourself. Um, but my guides are so good about bringing me who I need to know. I uh -huh. can access those that have passed, and I do personally on a regular basis. I am a lucky woman in that I have constant contact with those that others may have thought were lost. Hmm. Um, it can be it can be kind of gut wrenching sometimes to speak to. <laughs> to I just call them my beloveds, uh -huh. but yes, I can. I can contact them. So well, um, yes, I'm glad that um, to know that I have, you know, it's comforting to know that that I have a spirit that was so strong that would come to you. Perfect. Mm. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, Ginger. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, wonderful, and um, yeah, I mean that that's amazing that she already she knew about Artemis. She had seen Artemis. She just she didn't know the name. So now she can she can connect more fully with Artemis now that she knows the name and confirmation that he is with her, right? Oh, absolutely. A name is a very powerful thing. Mm -hmm. um, a name is is a representation of of anyone, any spirit, any soul, ours or those who are on the other side, that name is a connection to their song, to their essence. So when we call them by name, they are honor bound to respond. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is lovely to actually have a name to, to place on, on the energy that we feel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm so glad I have that, that name of my new guide, right, Althina. Um, it was not a name I had heard before, and so of course I googled. <laughs> I googled Alcina, but it, it 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 didn't come up as a um, you know, like a a common name or anything, <laughs> which was which was like oh okay. Uh, what yeah. I, what I, yeah. they, it's very funny, honey. That some sometimes there'll be there'll be very musical, very mystical names. There'll be names tied to a to a certain goddess or a family mm -hmm. of angels, and sometimes they'll just be like. 
hi, this is Bob. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never know, really, who's <laughs> going to show up and what they're going to say and what yeah. they're going to call themselves, but I just have learned to trust them. I'm yeah, sure. oh, absolutely. And it doesn't really matter what the name is. It's just, you're right, having that name gives us a greater connection to that energy, you know? Mm -hmm. that, that, is why, that is why they share it with us. Yeah, no, I think that's wonderful. Um, okay, who are we going to go to next? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see who we're going to go to next. Um, all right, so we're going to go to, <clears throat> let me just find them, Christina Curry. So, area code 516. Let me just unmute her. Yes, it's Amia. Hi, Christina. Oh, I'm so glad you called me. Oh, I yeah. am so glad that, that you're here. I am yeah. tickled that you're here. Yeah, I was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rat myself out, and this is this is the opportunity for me to do that, Christina. When I'm channeling and working with guides and guardians, I will probably be the only person you will ever meet who complains about the presence of angels. <laughs> <laughs> and and I channeled a guardian angel for you, and and I will explain that to you when I channel. In order for us to make this connection between the dimensions, the spirit brings their energy vibration way down, and I bring mine up some. But when angels show up, I need to bring mine up a lot more because they are very light, very pure beings. So as I sit down to channel, and I'm sitting there looking at your name on the paper, and I feel them come in, and I go, Oh, nuts, another angel. <laughs> So, you have a message from an angel today that I would love to share with you. Oh, you okay. I am here. I am called by the name of Tobias, and I answer the call of my beloved Christina this day with pride. I am happy that she reaches out for me, and I respond, as I will always respond, in love and gratitude that I am allowed to be of service. My dearest child carries a well-chosen and beautiful name into this life. It befits her beautiful spirit. My beloved Christina has chosen by using this name to identify her unique essence, to remind herself and others that she identifies her purpose and her identity with the Christ energy. This energy is not a mark of religious service or membership, but is rather a choice made to serve the world as a master disguised as a human in service to the world. In honor of her heritage as a master, like all who carry Christ energy, she is accompanied at all times by legions of angels, of whom I am only one. Because her great power is demonstrated to all who can see spirits present in the world by the company that she keeps, further demonstration or exhibition of her status is not necessary. Those who seek out the Christ energy in the world, even if they are blind to the presence of angels, will feel that there is something special about her and will thus be drawn closer to that which they seek. While grand gestures of mastery and power serve purpose when absolutely necessary, even greater power rests in the act of holding power peacefully and gracefully, effectively demonstrating the bonds between power and peace. This is the truth of the service of all who carry the Christ energy, each in, his, or, I'm sorry, each in his or her own way, walking the earth as a prince of peace. It is this mastery of the blend of power and peace that also draws angels near. For all angels, even those who are believed to be warriors, are divine beings of pure love and peace. I wish to express my gratitude to my dearest Christina for her choice to stand upon the earth 
and for inviting angels to stand with her. Tobias. Oh, gosh, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Oh, you are so welcome. I've had the chills since the first word of that came up. He is a wonderful, he is a wonderful angel. I am so glad that he is with you. Oh, right. I'm sure we'll remember him now. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Oh, you are welcome, darling. Thank you, Christina. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Wonderful. And, you know, that's the thing, too. You know, the angels are always with us, and we just have to call on them. We, we just ask them to be with us. You know, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what I do. I just ask them to be with me. I don't ask them for anything else. <laughs> but I did ask for a parking spot the other day, last week, <laughs> and I got one. <laughs> but... um. <laughs> I don't. I normally don't, but I realized one thing, Marcella, last week was um, that when I go out for lunch or dinner or somewhere, and I and I have to go somewhere where it's not a parking lot, it's a street, and I have to, you know, try find parking. On, I get find parking on the street. I get so stressed out. You know, it's like I'm so stressed, and it's like, you know what? Why am I doing this to myself? Why don't I ask for help? So I did. I asked the angels to help me. I said, you know what? I'm going to give this to you now because I'm not going to worry about this anymore. Why am I getting stressed out about finding a parking spot, you know, on a street? So I said, can you please find me a parking spot that's close to the restaurant, you know, not too far? And they did, you know. So it's like, from now on, I'm not going to... Because why do we carry so much stress with us? You know, why do we let little things like, you know, like that, you know, stress us out and ruin our day, right? So it's like, yeah, not anymore. <laughs> You know, I actually recommend that as an exercise for people to remember how well-guided they are. When I head out to go someplace, I always tell spirit where I'm going, when I think I'll be there, and can they get somebody to move their car so that I can park close. And it always works. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just a physical affirmation of the fact that you, you have to ask to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a little help to me is as, is as grand as a giant miracle. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Same here. But, you know, and, and that's the thing. It's like we take on all the burdens, all the stress. You know, it's like we have to do it ourselves, you know. And it's like, oh, why? You know, when they're there to help us and they, they're more, they're willing and they're, they're, they want to help us, you know. And if, if that can bring me, you know, more peace, then, you know, why not? <laughs> So it's like, yeah, from now on, I'm asking. Even the little things that I keep saying, like, I'm not going to ask for that. I'm asking. If it's causing me stress, if it's causing me uh, e uh, dis-ease, you know, um, whatever. It's like, I'm not here to suffer. I'm not here to be, you know, um, feeling miserable. You know, I'm not here to be stressed out. So, you know, I'm going to make my life easier by asking now. <laughs> I am asking more and more now, so. Yeah. And, the, and the deal, really, the deal with your guides and your angels is, that they are with you always to facilitate what you want and need to do. Uh, you'll notice from these messages that Spirit is very good about giving you an answer without giving you an answer, giving you the information that you need to make the choice. So what I would like everyone to remember when it comes to Spirit is that you, they are not in charge, you're in charge. They show up to protect us, to ease things for us, if we are taking on too much, and we think we're pretty hot stuff when we choose to come in, so we very often take on way too much. When we ask, they can give us an easier alternative. They can light the path. They can smooth the way. They can make our journey to the same point along our path much less tedious if we just remember to ask. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, okay, so we're going to go to the next person I have here. Um, I don't know if she's here because, you know, there's so many numbers here. But Janet K. Rose Aldridge, if you're here, please raise your hand. Start to raise your hand. So Janet K. Rose Aldridge, if you could raise your hand, that would be great. Um, let me see if I can find you. Area code 812, I don't see you, but, you know, it could be weird for me, but... <clears throat> I'm looking at the numbers because there's so many. <laughs> okay, Janet K. Rose Aldridge, going, going, gone. Okay. <laughs> what about Shirley Jean 
Burchard, ICU. Um, so we're going to go to Shirley Jean Burchard, area code 910. Hello. Hi, Shirley. Yes, thank you very much for taking my call. Hello, uh, Marcella. Hello, how nice to meet you. I feel like I already know you. How nice to meet you. <laughs> I feel like I know you too. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah. You know, I'm sure that we do. Sure I bet we, we do. do. I'm sure of it too. <laughs> thank you for letting me kind of nose around in the business of your soul. But, you know, I am very good about always asking permission before I do that. So, And I, yeah. if it helps any, I don't retain anything anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I won't remember any of your business, really. But I would love to share some with you because oh. I have a channel for you. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I am here. I am called by the name of Ritmar. What a name that is. Oh, and I have come forth to speak with my dearest friend Shirley, whom I love dearly and serve truly. I have come this day to express my pride and my appreciation for her friendship and her trust in the wisdom of the divine, which runs deep in her heart and her mind. Yep. She holds, yeah, we're, yeah, I know you, girl. Here we go. She holds faith in the fact that she is a beloved of God. Uh huh. Many, many do not hold to beliefs in acceptance of divine will or divine timing because it is not easily done without evidence. Uh -huh. Faith is defined as belief without evidence. And holding faith honors all of divinity. Faith in small things brings no less honor than faith in great things. Faith held in the heart allows faith to be present in the world. And the presence of faith allows for the presence of miracles. In, me in many lives, my beloved has held faith under fire faith under persecution, and faith in isolation. I do not need to describe to her the difference between faith and hope, but I will state that hope is a gateway to change. Only the faithful pass through the gateway to create real change, accompanied by faith in the outcome. Faith in divinity, I'm sorry, in divine will, allows for the creation of outcomes beyond individual benefit and past both understanding and expectation. Keeping of faith is a serious mission performed by the light of heart. Deep inside, faith keepers carry no burden of fear around criticism or consequence caused by their faith, for faith in turn fills their hearts with light. It will always be so that faith cares not whether the object of faith that invites it is either large or valid, for the act of holding faith invites all of the power of faith to operate unquestioned and unshackled. Great and wonderful acts and events follow the footsteps of the keepers of faith. It is quite appropriate that the results of their faith most often stays removed from their sight, for evidence carries no weight in the heart made light by faith. I speak of these matters to my dear one only because they are her truth and her purpose. I wish only to acknowledge the love and appreciation of the divine as an act of service and esteem. There is no need this day to offer encouragement or promises of support, even though I hold these sentiments. And so instead, I offer only love and respect. Please accept these, for they are your due. Ritmar. Oh, thank you so much. And yes, I say yes, I accept. Love and respect. Wow. Love and respect. Uh, yes. And... and 
Can you spell that name? <laughs> yes, it's R I T T M A R. R I T T M A R. This is a this is an opportunity, if I might take it, to explain to all of my wonderful volunteers, and to and to anyone who decides to participate in the channel I'm offering in my package, that I am so I transcribe these words on purpose so that they will not be lost or changed. And those of you who volunteer tonight, as soon as we're done, if we ever decide we can quit talking to each other, which I can't imagine why we would, mm. I will send you, I will email you a transcript of your channel so oh. that you can read and reread. Because I've discovered with my own, very often when I reread it, I, I see something different in it. Or at a different time or from a different perspective, it carries a different meaning. So I will send all of you wonderful women who volunteered uh, a transcript of your personal channel as, as soon as we're finished tonight. Oh, God bless you for that because, yes, I get caught up in the words and I get to thinking and you're still talking. And, yes, this will be a great <laughs> service to me. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> May, may I uh, relate a short story concerning angels? Um, would that be all okay? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. It's fine with us. Yes, ma'am. Um, okay. When I came uh, when I came to uh, North Carolina, I w uh, to open up a brand new hotel. I um, it worked uh, eighty hours a week, and uh, thirty days had passed. I did not have my driver's license renewed. I did not have North Carolina tags. And my car broke down on the way to work. And I said, okay, angels, you have this one, and but there's, a, but there's something else you must do. Do not let the police see that my tags have expired, <laughs> and do not let them say to me, to me, let me see your driver's license. Well... All of a sudden, the police came, and they didn't see the tags. They did not ask me for and it turned out I had run out of gas, and they filled my car up. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so, just call on the angels. They're waiting. Yeah, absolutely. They're waiting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good. Great story. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, and I thank you both so much for taking my call and uh, choosing me. And I'm sure many, many people will uh, uh, get a lot out of what uh, was said, especially for love and, and, and faith and, you know, truth mm -hmm. of purpose is concerned. Absolutely. Because the bottom line, all there is is love. Yep. You know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah. And I nice. hope one day that all of us can become personal friends. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, I'm absolutely. For it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my Wonderful. email address. <laughs> thank, you thank you so you. much, Shirley. <laughs> thank I'm, you, Shirley. I'm going to send both of you a huge amount of love tonight. Oh, so get thank ready you. for it. Oh, well, thank I'm already you. feeling it. Thank you. Oh, honey, thank you. So you guys have a nice evening, and I'm going to stay tuned to listen to the rest of the program. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Wonderful. <laughs> All righty. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, that was so sweet. So nice. Wow. And I love that message. It was beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you know what, Marcella? It's, it's, fun. it's fun to be me, really. It's, uh, it I is. I get to see all this first. It's yeah. I know, it's wonderful, but you're right, you know, I'm so glad that you um, write it all down, because there's no way that we can remember everything that you said, you know, it's like, there's just no way, <laughs> um, because there's so much that, that you that you bring through the reading, that if we were only listening to it, we, we would miss 90%, you know? Yes, yes, and, and they're so anxious to get to get things through that, that the words they say often have wonderful meaning so yes I am very very careful about making sure it is written down precisely and getting a copy to the person it is intended for so that it can I treasure the messages I've gotten from spirit I read and reread them over and over again mm, mm, wow you're so blessed I'm so jealous man wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's my it's my it's my jealous competitive nature coming through right now <laughs> 
<laughs> like, why can she do that and I can't do that? It's like, man. <laughs> it's all good. You could do this. Do this. You know, we each have our own gifts, and it's really a matter of which ones we choose to exercise. Okay. Yeah. We each Absolutely. have our own gifts. <laughs> I know. Um, okay, so I'm going to call again on Deborah Rose Grogan, if you're there. I think Deborah Rose Grogan is in Europe. Um, but, so Deborah Rose Grogan, if you're here, can you please hit star two to raise your hand? And the other person that we tried to call on earlier was Janet K. Rose Aldridge. Janet K. Rose Aldridge, if you're here, can you raise your hand? <laughs> Maybe they're listening on the webcast, you know, but, uh, oh, um, <laughs> okay, so, okay, I don't know if this is the right person, but somebody says that they're here, um, but they're oh, on the cool. webcast, but they're on the webcast. Cat? Oh, well, I, I will read the message. And then if they're here, they will certainly hear it on the webcast if we can figure out who okay, let me, on. Yeah, let me, I'm going back a message when I have one anyway. I know. Let me just check my that email again to see if I have the right um, person and the right email. Um, all right, so I'm looking for, let me see, who is it? Light and Spirit at AOL.com and TYI13 at SBS, SBCglobal.net. So, Kat, I don't think it's you. Sorry, babe. <laughs> I wish, but no. Um, hmm. Okay. So, I mean, if if you if you're gonna call in, you know, you just go to the the the, the live page, um, and there all all the details are there on how to how to call in. Um. So, no, I don't see those two people raising their hands. Um. Marcella. Well, let's, let's pretend that Deborah is here because okay. I know we have time zone issues with her if yeah. she is in Europe. And hopefully she will get us on the website or catch us on the replay because Perfect. her message is not just for her. Yes, so, absolutely. So ladies, we're going to talk about her when she's not here. God knows <laughs> we don't that. So. Yeah, so this is, for, yeah, this is for Deborah Rose Grogan, but it could be for anybody, you know. Um, just listen to the message, and it may just be, you know, for you. Just see what the message is, and if it relates to you, if it resonates with you, then you know it's for you. Yes, and I've seen these ahead of time, and I know there are there are people who need to hear this. So Deborah's message says, I am here. I've come forth today to meet with my dearest Deborah. I'm pleased to be able to speak words that she will hear and so I will choose them carefully and with purpose. I am called by the name of Ellen, and I stand always with my beloved in service to her life and her beautiful soul. My dear one and I share bonds of deep love and dedication to each other across many times and many places. I hope to infuse my message this day with enough of my soul energy to evoke a remembrance of our connection so that she might remember that I am with her always. I wish to carefully represent all of her spirit guidance in this message, so that this opportunity is best taken. But for myself, I would only speak of the love that she has sent from the heavens. Yet I know that she seeks comfort and guidance this day also around other matters of concern. While it is very important that she be reminded in any and all ways possible that she is loved deeply and fully, I am also aware that she is engaged in a worldly life that carries challenges and cares. Our sacred vow to her, our promise, and our pledge of service when she left home for that earthly lifetime was to comfort and protect her spirit and to share our light when her journey led her down dark pathways. It is imperative that I tell my beloved that our vows have been and will be faithfully kept. We see what she cannot. We hold secrets for her that she chose to hide from view. 
and we keep her soul safely and lovingly connected to our own as we promised. It can be no other way. We guide her feet firmly on a path of her own choosing, always mindful of our promise of service. We ease her journey when it becomes more dangerous than necessary to serve her lessons. We surround her with our light even when she knows not that the darkness has been made brighter or shorter. Much that she does not see has been removed from her path so that she may be safe. Her bravery is immense. Her progress is remarkable. Her guidance and protection is sure and strong as befits a purpose and mission as grand as that which she has chosen. We wish this day to comfort and assure our beloved Deborah that spirit stands all around her, working unseen to protect and comfort. This is what she has asked of us. This is what we shall always do. She walks not a moment unaccompanied. She faces nothing alone. We will never leave her. Ellen. Now, because Deborah did not receive this message, and it was for so many other of you, I am going to repeat this because it's so important. You walk not a moment unaccompanied, mm. and you face nothing alone. Spirit will never leave you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that was wonderful. And it's so relevant to um, many of us, you know, just to know that we are not alone and that, that they are always with us. You know, we have to, it's like we have to hear that message over and over again to really let it sink in and um, to know that we are supported. <laughs> I'm laughing because, you know, I always complain about not having support, but I do. It's like, yes, I do. What am I talking about? Um, <laughs> I'm fully supported and always, you know, so it's like it's it's all good. But I do sometimes I need that message for myself too. It's like, yes, you are supported. What are you complaining about? What are you you know, what are you worrying about? You know, all these worries and stuff that we have. It's like we that's when we forget our connection and you know, we're always connected to, to the divine, to our guides, to our angels, you know, and not just guides and angels, but our fairies and you know, there's so many other beings <laughs> that we are connected with as well. Yes, ma'am. I've had to learn when I, when I do my I'm getting ready to go to sleep now rituals. Every day I remember to express gratitude for all of my blessings, even the ones I missed. Mm. <laughs> because mm. sometimes we miss them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> not absolutely. see it until later. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, I, I never thought of that. Good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to incorporate that one too into my uh, into my rituals as well. Um, yeah, good one. Mm -hmm. That's very 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 wise. <laughs> um, okay, do you want to do the other one too? For who was it? Uh, Janet. Yes. Janet. Yes, I I, I dare Janet. not not share any of these. Spirit went to the trouble to send them, and yeah. and I'm not in charge of this. They are. So. Yeah. So Janet so, K. Rose. Sorry, go ahead. Yes, I hope you are within earshot. If not now, then a little bit later or on the web or somewhere because this is your message. And darling, I will send it to you too. <coughs> I am here. I am called Genevieve. And I am both guide and sister to my beloved Janet. She asked to speak with me and I am filled with joy at her request. Although we speak often in dreams and in prayer, she does not always know my voice as my voice and this day there will be no doubt that it is not her own thoughts that she always hears I am proud to call my dearest Janet my sister and I am proud that she called upon me to serve her serve her spirit it is an honor to hold her trust thus and it is from a place of deep love and respect that my service springs we are truly sisters in service and in purpose and as such, the whole of her soul is known to me. It is this deep and complete knowing of the greatness of her being that binds in love as family. True love grows ever stronger from this state of familiarity. And it is love based in knowledge and not love based in mystery that creates families. 
Many souls who walk the earth in these times are also of our family and of our purpose. For the earth called out for the presence of the wise women in her time of need. The earth is also wise and knew that the presence of the wise women in large numbers could change the course of humanity and it has been proven to be thus. The fate of humanity stood in great peril and required the wisdom and the love of her women to begin the birthing process of a new age and the love and wisdom of her women to tend to the newborn possibilities of a more loving and less dangerous world. Many, like my beloved sister, willingly and lovingly answered this call and they all hold a place of honor in the heavens. Their sisters in spirit also chose to serve their great mission in numbers far too large to count. We stand with you all still, proud of your accomplishments and supportive of your continued service in each new day. I am asked to bring you a message this day, my beloved, and I speak truth only when I extend the gratitude of the Earth Mother, your sisters in spirit, and all of humanity for your service to your families, both the children of the Earth and the children of the Light, who benefit from your care, dedication, and wisdom. It is gratitude well-earned and well-deserved. Genevieve. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm. We are surrounded in this age by very strong, wise women. And it is it is of great benefit both to us and to the world that they chose to come. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, we have some great men around too, but really right now it, it, I think it is the feminine energy that is really making changes in the world and um, really transforming how we, how we live and how we see things, our perspectives and so on. Oh, it is. The, the feminine energies and the masculine energies operate differently, particularly around change. And more feminine energy has been brought in by some of these wonderful women to help, again, achieve that balance between the two that was imbalanced for its own purpose. But now it's time for the two to be balanced. So there is much being changed, you're right, under the influence of the divine feminine energy. Mm -hmm. um, I was just going to ask you, do you, do you want to read mine? Or, I mean, do you have mine and do you want to read it or, or not? You know, I don't, I don't have it in front of me. But I, I do have one more that I would like to share with people. And this okay. is... A, is the perfect opportunity for that. We started with a channel from Archangel Michael about the love from heaven. Mm -hmm. And I have another that I have received, which is a channel I received from Gaia, from the Earth Mother. Mm. And I would like to share with you, if yes. I could. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sentiments about love. Yeah, for sure. So, so she says to us, I am here. It is lovely to be speaking with you, dearest. I appreciate each and every opportunity to share knowledge and love with my children. There is much to talk about as the new age dawns. And I know that you are a patient listener. Thank you again for speaking with me. May I choose where to begin? Very good then. First and foremost, I wish to express my love for all of my children. All who inhabit the planet are as children to me, regardless of their species or class. Please know that I do my best to provide for each and every living thing that places itself in my care. Please know that it is out of love that I shall always honor the divinity of each being, and shall always, I'm sorry, and also shall I honor the choices and desires of each. I have willingly and lovingly accepted the responsibility for maintaining and nurturing the planetary system as a service to those souls who have need of such a place. The children of Gaia number almost beyond counting, and each is in my heart in each and all of their lives with me, and at all times in their existence. I love each no more and no less than another, 
for love is not divisible into places, parts, times. All that exists is joined by energies of love, and so I choose first to talk of love. All sentiences and all souls who serve do so out of love and within love, because love is their essence and love is their beingness. Any state that would seem to be unlike love in any degree is only an illusion. It is part of my chosen service to maintain a system that is an illusion, but this does not mean that my love is limited or diminished in any way. Because I exist and operate within a state of pure love, the restrictions and limitations of my realm do not apply to me, and I am not, therefore, subject to the illusion. Divine love is whole and complete. My sentience is also whole and complete. I offer my service to my children from this state of complete love and divine love that is both eternal and self-sustaining. Some among the human children of the earth express concern for my well-being and I gratefully accept this concern as a token of love. Some among my human children exhibit little or no concern for my well-being, and I know that they love me no less. I know and love the essence of all of my children in each moment fully. I hold each person, each animal, each plant, each element, each force and each particle of my realm in love that is all-inclusive. It is of no concern to me whether any recognize or acknowledge this love. Love is. Love does not need recognition or acceptance to be. Thank you for talking with me today, dearest. In love, I leave you for now. Daya. Hmm. Wonderful. Beautiful. Love, love, love. Love is all we need. It's all about the love, right? It's all about loving ourselves, loving each other, loving the planet. You know, um, the more we can tune into that love, the better our lives will be. You know, and we, I will say, we, we, we get disconnected. We forget, you know, we get busy with other stuff. But if we just remember to love, I think everything will work itself out, right? Always. Always. And no one's expecting you to be in that state of ecstasy 24-7. That wouldn't meet the purpose of actually coming here. You have other things you chose to do. Mm -hmm. But each moment that you can hold it, each hour that you can hold it, is, nurtures not only your own soul, but everything around you. Yeah. The, the entire world, the entire universe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, w w what a blessing for you to be able to channel these messages, you know. Um, and, you know, I mean, this, I'm sure, takes, you know, time for you to do. You know, you sit down, you meditate, you connect, you know, you get the message and you, you know, you write, I, I suppose, as you're, as you're getting the message. It's not just something that you do on the fly, you know, like you're not one of those people who just... You know, like you really are dedicated to it, and you and you put a hundred percent of yourself into it when you're doing it. You know, so it's it's they're beautiful messages that are coming through to you. Thank you, and it it is it is the best thing that I do. It is who I am. I hold their words and pass them along as they meant to. It's it's a wonder. It's a wonderful work. <laughs> mm. Thank you. <laughs> so, do you do this more than your healing now? Because I know you're also a healer as well. Do you find you know, that I you get a lot of requests? I do more of this right now than I, than I do. But, but I have discovered over the years with, with my healing work, as I've received more information and more training from spirit, that I spend less time actually in ritualistic forms of healing, and I spend more time just bringing love and bringing light to the situation that caused the disease. Mm. to the situation that caused the discontent, bringing the light and the love to the past so that it can heal and release the present. So I spend more time implanting love in places and in situations than I do working with individuals trying to heal. Mm -hmm. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, we need more of that for sure. Um, yeah. 
Wow, well, I, I, I'm still I'm still digesting or processing all of the messages that we that you brought forth today for our listeners. You know, they were just so uh, positive and affirmative and so loving and compassionate. You know, and it, it's what people need to hear over and over again. <laughs> I know, and definitely I need to hear it, honey. Mm. I need to hear it over and over, too. Wow. Um, okay, so where are, we, where are we at now? We've, we've done all of the readings that we had um, said we were going to do, plus extra, you know, the one from Archangel Michael and from Gaia. So that was, that was a bonus. <laughs> Those are bonus messages. Um, yes, I think I think. We are good. I would yeah. I would like if we could before everyone kick checks off and leaves us <laughs> a little bit about what I'm what I'm offering you guys tonight. Oh, absolutely! Okay. Yeah, Put together a package. Yes. Yeah, because um, Marcella's uh, work is different than uh, what we've seen from other people, so I, I, I want you to take a look at that as well. So it's, if you're on the webcast, you can go to um, Speaker Special Offer. If you're on the phone, you can go to awakentohappinessnow.com forward slash Marcella. That's awakentohappinessnow.com forward slash, forward slash Marcella. I'm just going to open it up so that we have it too. Um, all right, go ahead, Marcella. What do you got for us? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, it is my job to get this. It is my job to share it. So I have put together something that I hope will be of real value to anyone who wants to jump on board. The first item in my package is a remote channel, just like these. I will connect with your spirit guidance, get you the name of somebody, how much they love you, and what they want to tell you. And again, I will send you an email transcript of that reading. I won't call you up and read it to you. You, get, you would get sick of listening to my voice anyway by the time you get through the rest of the package. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's the number one thing. I also will attend you. You can download an ebook. It's in a PDF format. I call it Energy 101. And mm -hmm. because sometimes I forget the basics, it's kind of the basics, how our energy interacts with the world and with the universe, how our chakra systems run, exercises in there for you to ground and protect yourself and send out some love. The third item is an MP3 recording. You will have to listen to my voice again. It is a lesson from spirit on healing from one of my teachers, Josiah the teacher. Now, Normally when spirit teaches me about something, I get channels sent on a topic from a wide variety of channeled sources and then it kind of all comes together when you stir it up into something that is easy to understand. This particular lesson is unusual in that it came only from my teacher but boy he is a good teacher and he's go he has told us how spirit heals, how healing is accomplished, how it used to be in ancient times and gives us an idea of how it's going to be again as we transition into the new age. And finally, there is another MP3. This one is called Lesson for the New Earth Rhythm. This one is again from different sources, different spirits, but it's wonderful because it gives us some place we can start. It's a logical place to begin working with the new energies. They've told us rhythm is the place to begin that. So that also is a recorded MP3 for your listening pleasure. When you signed up with Shafali for this lovely series, she sent you some free gifts. And when you did that, uh, included was a guided meditation that I put together to get you in a good spot to meet with your guides. If among all those packages and wonderful gifts she sent you, if you that, I recommend that you go through that meditation and listen to it whenever you want to talk to your own guidance. It creates something that we all really should have with us in our back pocket all the time, which is a sacred space, a mm -hmm. place that we create and we can go be safe. And I'm going to let Shafali talk now because I'm tired of talking. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, 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 <laughs> yeah, but yeah, because because you're doing all the reading too of the of the channeled readings as well, right? So yeah, 
I can understand why you'd be a little bit tired. Um, so yeah, so the offer is at awakentohappinessnow.com forward slash Marcella, M-A-R-C-E-L-L-A. That's awakentohappinessnow.com forward slash Marcella, M-A-R-C-E-L-L-A. Um, if this resonates with you, take a look at it. <laughs> um, this was so much fun talking to Marcella, getting these messages. Um, and, you know, like I said, these messages are coming from the divine, from from source, really, that, that you know, is trying to show you how much you are loved and how um, we are not alone. We are always connected. We are always supported. And all we have to do is ask for help, you know, connect and ask for help. Don't even connect. Ask, just ask for help, you know, because <laughs> sometimes people have a hard time connecting. But just ask for help. And um, one thing I want to mention that, you know, all of these messages have been so positive and affirming and loving and compassionate. Um, all of my experiences have always been that way too. You know, I, I think Marcella had said at the beginning that she is of the light and she works with the light. I am the same way. I don't. I do not have um, any dark energies or uh, things like that. You know, around me, um, and that's because that was a choice I had made a long time ago. I had made. I had. You know, made that proclamation a long time ago that I will only speak to and have in my presence positive light beings who are up to light and of love and nothing else. So, <laughs> so it, it you know, it can happen. So if you if you are experiencing, you know, something that's not as divine as you would like, as positive or light filled as you would like, just ask. You know, make that command. Um, wow. Yeah, this was so much fun. This was so affirming and, and loving and compassionate. I love it. You know, this is something that more and more people need to hear, Marcella. You know, we we all need to know uh, over and over again that we are we are loved we are being supported we are being guided they, they are there for us they're here for us and all we have to do is ask and it helps it really does help to have the name of um, of the guides so that it's you know sometimes we have that block in our minds that oh well I don't know who they are so I can't really connect to them you know so now when we have that name we can connect more deeply and strongly and have a personal rapport with them you know and say hey how's it going Athena Let's see, <laughs> you know, and just talk to them as if they're your friends and they're here with you all the time because they are. They're always with you. They're, they are your friends. They're your loving companions, um, and they just want us to reach out to them so that we can have a better life here, you know, and 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 not uh, you know not struggle or be challenged as much as we are right now. How is that for talking, Marcella? Is that good? That was that was good. Thank you. It gave me a chance to get a little sip of tea, and my throat feels better. Thank you very <laughs> much. And I and I agree with every single word that you said. Spirit is really here to to help us to be a part of our lives. Talk to them. Just talk to them. They listen. They're not judgmental. They do not think things of us that we think of ourselves, because they know who we really are, and so we forget who we really are. Mm -hmm. So they come at us always from the love that comes from really knowing who we are. I know that my spirit guides have become such a part of my life that for years, friends, people friends, will call and say, how are you and how is Sarali? Mm -hmm. How are you and have you heard from Rashka? They are, they are as real in my friends' lives as mine because I am so inclusive mm -hmm. of their energy and their guidance in my life. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. Um, so I'm just going to ask a, a personal favor from all of you listening now and who will listen on the weekend. Um, some of you may know because I post stuff on Facebook all the time, but I'm going to L.A. tomorrow morning, so please keep me in your thoughts and prayers so that I have a, a good flight, good connections, and a great time. Um, I'm really excited about going. I'm going to be meeting some of my own mentors, um, you know, Jennifer McLean, yes, she's my mentor, and I'm going to be meeting her this weekend, so I'm so excited about that, and we all know who Jennifer McLean is. <laughs> so I'm so excited about that, and I've never been to Los Angeles, so we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing as well. So, And I'm going to meet um, some of the other speakers who live in L.A. So uh, that have been on, on my shows. So I'm so excited about that. So I will not be around. <laughs> I will not have a lot of access to the computer, so hopefully nobody will have any problems. Um, if there's an emergency of some sort, yes, I, I, I will be checking my email, but hopefully, you know, that there won't be anything. <laughs> hopefully everything will run smoothly. So I'm going to ask my angels and guys to please let everything run smoothly while I'm away. <laughs> I'm so funny, yes. 
<laughs> so um, yeah, I I'm love just gonna... it. I love it. There is there is no reason to be so take ourselves so darn seriously sometimes. Yeah. Laughter is wonderful medicine. Laughter is good for our heart. We should giggle at this world. It's it's pretty funny. <laughs> and, and you know, I am really all was so serious, right? I, I I I am quite serious all the time. So I am so glad that on these shows, I am able to laugh and giggle and you know be so so light <laughs> because all the other times I'm really serious. <laughs> so I get to have fun here. So I want to thank you, Marcella, so much for being on the show and sharing your uh, your love and compassion and your and your readings and your your guides are wonderful. You know, for coming through and sharing. All these messages with us, and um, I want to thank the all of the listeners and on the people. You know, so many of you had requested a reading. I mean, I can't even tell you how many emails I received. I just want to say thank you so so much. It really, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, we're going to definitely have to have Marcella back on again <laughs> because there's such a need for the work that she does. So take a look at um, her special offer again. Like I said, it's at awaken to happiness now com forward slash Marcella. Um, for, if it resonates with you, you know, because these readings, um, like I said, they can really change your life. So, thank you all so so much. Thank you, Marcella. Thank you all, and good day or good evening or wherever you are. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> thank you, guys. Have a great night and continue to live your life filled with joy, peace, love, abundance, and happiness. <laughs>